In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to reverse a string in constant space. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to create two pointers, A pointer and B pointer. We're going to set A pointer to the very beginning of the word, and we're going to set B pointer to the very end of the word. What we're going to do is we're going to swap those two pointers, and then we're going to move A pointer by one position to the right, and B pointer by one position to the left. Then we'll swap those two pointers and continue to do so until those A and B pointers meet in the middle. And once they've met in the middle, the word has been reversed and we can return that word and that's basically all there is to it so we're gonna start out by creating our function we're gonna call it reverse so we're gonna say define reverse this function is gonna take in the input of the word that we're going to reverse from here we need to uh, convert this word into a list because string objects uh, do not support item assignment so we need to convert it to a list at least temporarily so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say new word is equal to list of word and what this list function does is it turns um, strings into lists and that's exactly what we have now and then we need to create our two pointers we're gonna set a pointer equal to zero because that's going to be the index of the beginning of our string and we're gonna set b pointer to the length of our word minus one and that'll be the index of the end of our word from here we need to create a while loop and we're just going to say while a pointer is less than sorry about that so while a pointer is less than b pointer what we're going to do is we're going to swap a pointer and b pointer and we're going to use a uh, helper function to do this so we're just going to say swap a pointer B pointer and we also have to pass this function our new word so we're going to say new word and before we do anything else in this function we're gonna create our um, helper function real quick and we're just going to say define swap because that's the name of the function what this function is going to take in as input is the a pointer the B pointer and the new word so we can just say a pointer pointer B pointer and the new word okay Python comes with a very simple way to swap um, elements in a list or items in a list and we can just do word new word yeah we're just going to say yeah new word of a pointer comma new word of B pointer is equal to new word of B pointer comma new word of A pointer and what this does is this uh, swaps the A pointer and the B pointer in that new, in that new word so say the A pointer was at the beginning of the word and the B pointer was at the end of the word now after we have run this function the first letter in the word will now be the last letter and the last letter will be the first letter okay so we're done with our helper function we, we need to go back to our reverse function and what we're going to do here is once we've um, swapped these two positions we now need to move our a pointer by one position to the right and our b pointer by one position to the left so we can just say a pointer plus equals one and b pointer minus equals one and it's going to continue to do this until a pointer and b pointer re meet in the middle and once they've met in the middle this word will be reversed so what we're going to do is we're just going to um, return our new word return our new word however right now it's a list to convert it back into a string we can use the join method by saying dot join and we're just going to do that so now this list is now a string and if we ran this let's run this program we'll just print reverse we'll pass it the string hello let's run it run hello check so now hello is ole or whatever you want to call that if we pass it a longer string say the alphabet And 
and we run it now we have the alphabet reversed okay so I hope that this um, was helpful and you learned something if you did I would appreciate it if you liked commented and subscribed and I will see you guys in future tutorials